In this lesson, we are going to see how to use a message box component. So here we have used the aggregate row. Okay, so from Euromart store, I have used the aggregate row. Okay, instead of displaying it in a log or instead of storing it or saving it in a separate file, if I want to view that as a message, okay, so I can use connect with the message box component where we have that message box component uh, namely just connect here and type msg so you can see that is a message box msg box okay so double click on it so it will be connected so if you double click on the message box component you can see that you have a message okay so it will be basically it will be like a hello world message okay so if you want to change that hello world message to some other message for example uh, you are actually we are actually here we are aggregating a row right so if you want to change it to the aggregated row or uh, uh, let us uh, take like region wise sales okay so that is region wise sales okay so let us see here so this is what the region wise sales which is region wise and the sales we have calculated in the aggregate row so that is what we are expecting in the message box as well okay so region wise sales so the title is here okay so this will display the title that is the message box the title of the message box window okay that is talent open studio so i am just changing this to um the message box tutorial okay okay so let us change this to the message box tutorial okay so and then uh, if, if you see the button you have various buttons okay 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 cancel about and retail we will discuss about this in detail so let us leave it as default so click here let it be okay and here let it be icon information okay so let's see this i'll just explain you this as well so let us leave this as a default configuration now we are going to execute this fine so let us execute this run the job here click here to run the job so whenever every row is passing okay when one row is ready and it is generated it will pop up a message box okay when a row is ready it will see here it is showing first row can you see okay it is showing the first row and if you see here you can see that it is a gomes text talk that is tech talks which that is what i have configured in the title okay and this is a message box tutorial so it is a region wise sales okay click okay and again it will show this is a region wise sales click okay and it's a region wise sales click okay got it so this is because since we have noticed that i have given okay so only the showing okay button fine if i click okay and cancel you will get a okay and a cancel button okay just click here and execute it fine you can see a okay and a cancel button now okay so execute this so whenever a row has been passed it will show you a message box with ok and cancel button can you see here and here this is an information icon ok so if you just give cancel it will show you the another uh, message box so likewise if you just click about retry and ignore ok it will show up at about retry and ignore ok and uh, now i am just clicking here icon stop or icon stop so what it will do okay see how um how the box that is a message box is showing up okay about retry and ignore okay so it will be executed fine let us see let us execute a message box without any input or output okay even you can connect the message box to an output or even you can connect a message box that is an output of some other component can be given as a input for the message box let us create a message box job 
so specifically for message box and let us use only a message box and see how it is working out whether it's working or not let's see that okay so now i'm just going to use this t message box here see you can work it okay double click on that message box and just leave it as a hello world okay that hello world should be inside the double quotes okay Fine, now I'm going to execute it. Just see if you execute it, it will show up hello world. Okay, click OK. And here you can see that you can change the information buttons and as well as here. Okay, the question button. I'm just giving a question button. Okay, and uh, uh, you can simply click here like uh, icon question, question icon. So, what is the question? Okay. Are you happy? Or are you enjoying the tutorial? Fine. So, if I'm just simply clicking here, running the job. So, what's happening? It is showing a question mark icon and asking me, are you enjoying the tutorial? Yes. Okay. You could see that. That is a star okay while entering it is showing up the star okay see in the message box component i have given here like mask answer okay that is why it is masking the answer now let let i'll just uh, uncheck this okay there is a mask answer i'm just unchecking this and if we execute it again so see it is asking me the question and if you give s it is showing the s answer okay that is what it's not masking your answer it is showing up the answer okay and if you just click here mask answer it will not show up the answer or it will just show the star okay so this is the message box so usually message box will be using to check whether the flow which we have connected has been con connected successfully or any in between any errors if you want to show up okay so it can show as a message okay whether the um, job connection that is uh, if you are connecting a component to another component whether it is it has been sent successfully or some other message if you want to pop up then you can probably use the message box okay and you should give the question inside the double quotes let me just uh, show you if you didn't give this inside the double quotes what will happen okay i'm just going to give like hello world which is without the double quotes okay let us execute this showing an error okay what error it, it is showing see understand you should able to read and understand the error because it's a java is a language where it will just show you what is the error is properly okay you can understand it so what is showing has compile error please fix then export again okay syntax error token world here the world in the world it is showing some error because we haven't given the text inside the double quotes okay so simply go to the component double click on the component and just simply give that inside the double quotes now let us execute it will not show any error now okay so you should be able to understand what is the error simply read it you can probably understand it okay fine so now i'm just changing this icon to icon exclamation so you will be getting an exclamation icon instead of uh, uh, instead of what instead of uh, question mark icon so what is that icon this is what the icon okay so this is the icon so you can change this icon accordingly and if you want the buttons to be displayed differently like ok cancel ignore retry about ok simply ok yes no ok so you have various configurations over there where you can try that as well ok and message box you can connect even you can make the message box as a first step that is a first component and then you can connect with various options so what are the op what are the components which are possible to connect uh, the log message box to the output that will be executed that will be showed up here okay 
So let us try connecting with the log row. Click on the log row, it will show an error. Okay, it is showing an error, right? So if you just go and keep your mouse cursor on the exclamation, that is an error, it will show that uh, what is the error is all about. If this component has output, there must be an output link to propagate the data. Okay, there should be an output link. Fine, let us see what it is showing if I am using um, output delimited file. Okay, this is the output delimited file. So, even for that, it is showing that it has, uh, it, uh, there should be an out input link to propagate the data. Okay, so before this, there should be an input to send the data. That is what it is asking for. Just give here an input. Okay, connect this input to the message box and then connect this output to the log row. Now, you cannot see any error over here. Okay, you cannot see any error. Fine. So, now I am going to execute. But what is the problem is it will show up the message box whenever and each and every row is executing. Okay. So, see, let us see here. Okay, let us change the message box. Okay, from question to okay. Fine. And now if I am executing this for every, uh, every record, whenever the record is passing, it will show the message box. Okay, hello world. For first row. See, for the second row, it is again showing up the hello world. For third row, it is showing hello world. Fourth row. But I don't want to do this for 8000 records. Okay. So, once it is passed, then after displaying the message box, it is displaying in the log row as well. Okay. So, I don't want this. So, how can I avoid this? I have to stop this. Then you can simply click here, kill to stop executing this job. Click kill where the execution will be aborted that is it will be stopped completely okay so this is how you can use the message box